morning. Hey Teresa, good morning. Hey. Come on in. Awesome. I'm here to ask you 22 questions today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Awesome, let's do it. So, what is your charity called? Parents Engaged in Education. And what is your mission? Our mission is to provide free resources and skill building opportunities to parents so they can better support their children and on a grassroots level to support low-income students so they have the tools they need to learn and to be creative. What inspired you to create this organization? We were inspired by the trend of lowering parent engagement and we wanted to work to increase that and we're happy we did that because in COVID-19 there's never been a time when parents need to support their kids at home as much as now. What type of services do you guys provide throughout the year? On a provincial level, we provide monthly newsletters, blogs, articles. We also do events back in the day when you could do events um, that provide parents with skill building opportunities. Also to provide school council leaders with the tools and resources they need to be effective partners with their principals. How would you describe PEIE in three words? Committed, passionate, volunteers. Who are your favorite people to work with? Our, my favorite people is my team, and this operation is led by Lisa Landrio, our vice president, and we have so many great volunteers. And in addition to that, all the partners that have stepped up to play a role. Awesome. So we are in this big gym. Mm -hmm. How often do you guys come here? We come here about twice a week right now. Uh, the heat is killing us, so uh, hopefully in August we'll be able to come more. <laughs> what do you guys do here? We pack, first of all, we get donations, we sort them by grade, we pack them to be sure that kits have a variety of uh, materials for children, and um, then we organize with charities to pick them up and, and supply to their youth. Where do these kits go? They go to different charities who are uh, working with the identified low-income communities, uh, communities that are supporting race and, and uh, hospitals, people like that, so that um, all the kids can get served that need it. What types of items are in these kits? So this is a good example of a kit. Um, this would be a grade four or five kit. So there's activities, um, a classic book, some novels, some Pokemon stuff, the 30 day Lego challenge. We have our home at learn at home kit and um, some great readers and some curriculum books. Awesome, that's so fun filled for all the children. So what is your favorite item to give to these students? I like to give the activities. I think these are so needed right now um, to be, have some time to just let your mind wander and have some fun and be proud of the stuff that you create through the kids. Awesome, so as we go over here, what's the story behind this wall? So these are the older children, so this would be seven, eight, and into secondary school. Um, so over here we're sorting materials, age appropriate, grade appropriate. Awesome. So, could you tell me a little bit more about this wall right over here? I would be happy to because this is one of my favorite places in the gym. This is all our big corporate donors. So these people have stepped up either financially or in kind, thousands of dollars, as you can see. And we wouldn't be able to do this project without them. So this isn't our project, it is all of our project. Oh, that's so nice to hear. What has been one of your greatest accomplishments with these kids? I think the partnerships we've built, not only with these partners, but with the charitable groups that we're supporting. We've come together as a community and support each other as charities. So what's one of the best examples of the way you've seen your organizations work make a difference? In the eyes of the children. Um, the, the pictures, the impact statements we get that tell us about the joy these kids have when they open these kits, when they've maybe had nothing for a long time and, and they really need an outlet. So if you could tell me the inside scoop, what's in the future for PEIE? Well, hopefully with the government support, what's in the future is a family service center. And the family service center would feature an education bank.
The education bank would operate similar to a food bank, except it would provide students, low-income students, the opportunity to come in and get the learning supplies and the readers and kits and things to help with their mental health. Awesome. What is one thing that your organization could not do without? Our partners. These partners are charitable partners and our partners as volunteers who have been stepping up to help with the project. What is one of your favorite parts about your job? Um, good question. I think my favorite part is the net result, the fulfillment of knowing that we can help. What is one thing you, could, you wish you could tell the children at home right now? Enjoy this. Enjoy it. That's what it's for. There's no expectation, even though we provide the curriculum book uh, to keep you learning, uh, we really want you to enjoy it. And what are you doing after this interview? I will be packing kits here. <laughs> so we start putting all this together. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for answering the 22 questions. Thank you. This has been great. Awesome. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye.